Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario! Last time, a couple of you guys reminded me that there's a coin block over here that I just kind of glossed over, so sorry about that, viewers, but thanks for uh, letting me know that it was here, so that way I can grab all this. Alright, got it. But anyway, okay, so last time we got the tape from Koopa Coot, and now we need to get to Koopa Village. So I'm just going to uh, hop all the way over there off screen. Oh, by the way, right about here, uh, Chuck Quizmo can potentially spawn there, just so you know. And actually, there's two locations where he can spawn in Toad Town. I might as well show them off as long as I'm here. Let's see, the other one is to the left of Merlon's house there. Ah, oh, he is there. All right. Well, let's do this now, as long as we're in the area. I didn't think we could get him to spawn here. Uh, j just going straight here from uh, Goomba Village, but well, I guess I was wrong. So, let's get to the question that he has for us. What's up? How do you expect me to remember that? Why would I care about that? Well, remember I told you to remember what color pants he was wearing? I told you! I told you it was going to be useful, but no! No one believed me. No, just teasing, viewers. But anyway, alright, that should be number... 12, I believe. I want to get up to 25 before getting on with chapter 2. But, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, 12. Okay, we're doing good. Let's, uh, head on over to Koopa Village and finish that favorite for him, then. Okay, we're back. So, let's, uh, deliver that tape to him. No, no Chuck Quizmo there. So, oh well. What about over here? No? Okay. Well, let's just get... That, uh, I don't know if that's a cassette tape or a VHS tape. Could be either or, just by the little icon it has there. I think it's cassette, though. I could be wrong. I have no idea. But anyway, for delivering that to him, do I get more star pieces? Damn it! Oh, well. Uh, what are you doing there, Bombet? I guess she's stuck in the door or something. <laughs> But, alright, got another favor we can do for him, so let's check it out. Now, for each chapter remaining in the game, or most of the chapters, he has three favors to do, not two. So, he wants to get some Koopa Tea. Fortunately, I already knew about that in advance, so I'm just going to uh, give him the Koopa Tea that I've already made for him. But if you didn't, you gotta get a Koopa Leaf from one of the bushes around town here, go to Toad Town, have taste tea, uh, cook that for you, boom, you've got some tea there. Not a huge fan of tea, I'll be honest with you viewers. I mean, as a beverage. Or coffee, for that matter. I just prefer, you know, like a Coke or, you know, any ordinary soda like that. Though I don't drink that that often. I tend to stick more to just water, skim milk, Gatorade, whatever. But anyway. Oh, what's this one? Well, thank you. Hey, hey, all right. That should be 15 now. Uh, sure, why not? Last one. Uh, then I gotta get on with the game, dude. I don't usually ask for favors, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, um, yeah, usually. Why does he jump so high? I thought Mario was Jump Man. What gives, game? Maybe he split himself into two people or something. I don't know, but anyway, okay, we gotta get Luigi's autograph. So, now before we do that, though, I wanna go over here, and now we can do that uh, information station contest. And, okay, he's not there. So, anyway, what we need to do, go in here, Let's, uh, go to the radio here. I wonder how the game knows where in the ending the music is supposed to be. The, the Mario World ending music. But anyway, what we need to do is wait for this contest to be announced. And I recommend waiting until after defeating Junior Koopa, or Junior Koopa, whatever. Uh, after defeating him, so that way you can get back in time. So, yeah, we gotta get over there in uh, Toad Town and bring a Koopa Leaf to her. Fortunately, I already did that. If you didn't, well, just check one of the bushes around here and you'll get it. So, yeah, pretty easy if you manage to avoid all the random enemies on the way back. So, I'll meet you over there then. 
Okay, we are back at Toad Town here. So let's see if we can uh, get our prize. What do we get for it? If I made it in time. Well, hopefully we will. This uh, toad wasn't there before. So you bring the uh, Koopa Leaf to her. At least I think it's a female. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. But anyway, okay, so we get, yeah, maple syrup. Yeah, could be worse. Better than a sharp stick in the eye, right? Sounds like a plan. There's actually, what are there, three contests for the sort of thing? I think it is. I think it's three. Maybe it's two. Well, whatever it is. It's in my notes, so I'll remember sooner or later. What are you doing? You're singing the background music or something? Ha! So yeah, get Bombet back here. Then we can talk to Luigi and get that autograph that we need. Couldn't you just like, I don't know, forge his autograph, Mario? Now, not in this series. You're gonna have to get your own JRPG series spinoff. Well, maybe I'll do that one someday. Yeah, he remembers you from uh, Mario is Missing. You remember that, game viewers? I do. I had it on the Mac back in the day. I thought it was alright, but apparently m lot, most people didn't. Oh well. This kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, Where in Time is Carmen San Diego, where you gotta, like, it, it's basically an edutainment game or something like that. So, but alright, we got the autograph there. Let's see uh, if Mario has any more mail. Yeah, I don't think I checked it out earlier. Or yet, so far. Uh, oh, we got more. Yeah, if you've uh, won one of the uh, star pieces from Chuck Quizmo, you get this postcard here for some reason. Well, they will sooner or later. Well, thank you. And let's see. After defeating the Koopa Bros, why did they give me a postcard? I don't know. Well, oh, okay. Nuts. Okay, well, that's everything we can do there. Nothing I can do with this panel there, though. That's kind of weird. Let me see if Kumbario says anything about it. Oh, well, there's not really a whole lot to it. Anything here, Mar or Kumbario? No? No? Okay. Never mind, I thought he might say something about it, but oh well. Nothing to worry about, we're done here. Uh, let's see, now what I want to do is I want to, as long as I'm in the area, let me see if I can get Chuck Quizmo to spawn here. I don't think I do. Or I don't think I can, because I thought you had to go, in order to get more star pieces from Chuck Quizmo, you had to go all the way to... Uh, what is it? Goomba Village, and then go all the way to uh, Koopa Village. Yeah, Koopa and Goomba Village. But that going between here and Koopa Village wouldn't work. But it worked with... Uh, what is it? It worked with Goomba Village for some reason, though. That never happened to me when I was doing my test runs. Okay, well, I'll do one more check, and if I don't find him, I'm going to assume that it was just a fluke or something. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna, as long as I'm reasonably close, I'm gonna go back to uh, Goomba Village and try to spawn Chuck Quizmo there. Okay, yeah, he's not around, so. Okay, I'll just head over to Goomba then. Okay, got a Chuck Quizmo to spawn here. So let's uh, get another star piece from him. Let's see what we got for this question then. Hmm, that would be strategies? I believe. That lets you, like, rotate your uh, party members around, or you could run from the battle, but then, just like Final Fantasy IV, you lose some uh, coins if you do that. So, yeah, better to just fight the battle and be done with it. Okay. Well, uh, let me see. I want to try spawning Chuck at uh, Toad Town again. See if I can get that to work. If not, I'll meet you at, uh, at Koopa Village to finish that favor for Koopa Koot. Okay, we're back at uh, Koopa Village here. Is Chuck around? No, well, he's not on this screen. Let's see if I can find him on the other one. 
Nope, not here either. Oh well. He can spawn here though, I just didn't get it this time. But I'll make him spawn soon enough, viewers. But anyway, let's bring back the autograph for Koopa Koop. Mr. Wizard? No. No, not in this game. God, I'm old for remembering that. But anyway, yeah, only one coin. Oh well. We can get more uh what is it? More star pieces from him later. Okay, so how many do I have now? 16. Let's see. Wait, I only have Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah, I only have 16. So let me see. Do we have him spawning here? No. Okay, well, if I don't get him to spawn, like, soon, then I'll just make him spawn eventually, going back and forth here. I'll just off-screen all the attempts that I make, or all the next attempts. Or I could find him right now. Why not? Okay, sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. So, what do we got for this one? Let's see, I believe the answer is one. Haha! -ha. See, I told you to remember that, viewers, and well, it came in handy this time. All right. So, what do we get for that? Just well, every time we get a star piece. Okay, I guess it's not that surprising, but okay. All right. So that's all I can do with that. Now, what I want to do is go here, and I want to buy a fire flower. How's my inventory looking? Do I even have an inventory? Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. All right. Well, yeah, I want to buy Fire Flower for uh, an upcoming battle. So get that. And let's see. Now what I'm going to do... See, I've got 17 star pieces. So I think we're reasonably close to getting enough star pieces to for the Power Plus badge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm the next eight star pieces from Chuck Quizmo going back and forth manually between... Uh, Goomba Village and Koopa Village. Uh, I don't think you can do it with Toad Town. I, I don't know why it did that one time. But in my test runs, I could only get him to spawn going between those two villages. So it'll take about 15, 20 minutes tops. But uh, yeah, it's fairly quick to do. And I think the Power Plus badge is worth it. If you don't want to spend the time to farm all that then I would recommend getting the Flower Finder badge. I think that's what it's called. The one that costs 12 star pieces. And that would be useful for you too. So whatever way you want to go, I'm going to go for the Power Plus badge. So I'll meet you back at Koopa Village, or Goomba Village, and get uh, Chuck to spawn there. Okay, got him to spawn here. So let's do number... Uh, 18 star piece, I believe. But let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. That would be the Goomba King. Hooray! At first, I wasn't quite sure, so I just... I, I forgot for a moment there. And I thought... Uh, well, I just fi figured it from the process of elimination. <laughs> I, didn't, I knew the other two weren't in the game, so it had to be the King. So basically, all you gotta do to get him to spawn is go between Goomba and Koopa Village. And when I came from Koopa Village, just go back and forth here over and over and over again until you get him to spawn right about there. It's pretty quick to do that. So now we're done with that, let's head on back to Koopa Village. Oh, hey, there's Chuck Quizmo. Huh. I'm not sure why I'm able to get him to spawn at Toad Town. I thought we had to go all the way to Koopa Village to do that, but... Hmm. Well, okay, I'll, uh... Check him here. Why not? Let me see if it works back at Goomba Village, too, from here. That would save a lot of time. Uh, let's see. Blue? Haha! -ha. Yeah, his hat color, or undershirt, is green, but the pants, they're blue, just like Mario. But, all right, got it. I wonder if this part of Toad Town is considered, like, a separate region from the upper half of Toad Town or something. Maybe that's why I can get Quizmo to spawn like that. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you don't want to do this uh, star piece farming from Quizmo there, 
You can also, uh, after chapter two, it gets a lot easier to do this, but well, I want to do it now to get the Power Plus badge, so. Okay, so that's everything there. Let's head on back to Goomba Village, I hope. Wow, that actually does work. Holy cow. Wow, that would save a lot of time. I could probably do this in like 10 or 15 minutes. All right, totally worth it. I forget how many star pieces I got now. I'll have to check. Uh, let's see. Six, I believe. There's the two youngins. Goom Gooma and Goompa. And then Gooma, the grandma and the grandpa, I guess. Or something or other like that. But, all right. So, yeah, wow. That actually really cuts down on the backtracking there. Okay, five more. Five more. Let's do it! Okay, we're back, and, uh, yeah, apparently I can get him to spawn here. I'm surprised. Because, yeah, I was always told we gotta go between Koopa, or, yeah, Koopa Village and, uh, Goomba Village, but, hmm. Well. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's -a me! Mario! But, alright. Simple enough. Four more to go! So I'll uh, head on back to Goomba Village then. Okay, got him back here. So let's see what uh, the next question is. Why not? Sounds like a plan. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see, that would be Rusty. I know, because the rest of them don't exist. Toasty! No, no, that's another game, viewers. But, alright, let's see, I think three more to go, if I recall correctly. But, alright! Oh! Huh! I didn't know he could spawn here. Wow, the, the things you learn when recording an LP. Must be an upside to the Bailey curse. Huh, I thought you could only he could only spawn in two spots. Huh. Wow. Learning more than I did during my test runs, practically. But anyway, let's see, Koopa Village. That would be six. Three per screen. Alright. For some reason I was having difficulty spawning Chuck by Merlon's house, but then I came by here and he did spawn. So, I, I don't know, viewers. I, I don't know. But anyway, okay, I think we got two more to go now. Let's see, how are we doing? Okay, good, yeah. Me yeah, at Goomba, Goomba Village, or... Actually, you know what? Did I, uh... No, I already got the autograph. Right, okay, never mind. Okay, got him to spawn here relatively easily. Only one place he can spawn in Goomba Village, I think. This is the only screen, so I would imagine he can't spawn anywhere else, but... Alright, number 24. Okay, let's see. I There was red and black, so I don't think there's blue. Okay, good, good. But, alright. One more to go, back at uh, Toad Town there. By the way, uh, well, no, nah, I'll save it for later. I was going to say something about Quizmo, but I'll finish the next question and then go after that. Okay, we're back at uh, Koopa Village here because for some reason I couldn't get him to spawn in Toad Town. I did it like 50 times at all those three locations and... I couldn't get him to spawn there anymore. I don't know. I give up. I, I don't know how it works unless you... Well, unless it's after Chapter 2. That, I know, is foolproof. But at this point in the game, I, I, I do not know why it wasn't working and why it was before. But anyway, okay. Uh, let's see. I believe that would be four? Ha-ha! All right. I wasn't certain about that. I knew it wasn't two because, uh, well, later on in the game, there's another item that's actually a little weaker than a regular mushroom that sells for, like, one or two coins. 
But, all right. So, we got uh, 14 questions out of Chuck Quizmo. Uh, just so you know, there's actually 64 questions Chuck, you can answer with Chuck Quizmo and get star pieces from them. And then there's 96 other star pieces that you just find randomly. Or, well, not randomly, but they're scattered throughout the game. And put them together, you got 160 star pieces, which will let you buy everything from Merlot, which is where I want to go next. Okay, we're back at uh, Toad Town, so let's head on up to Star Hill. Although, well, st the Star Summit, whatever it's called. But anyway, yeah, we want to go back to Merlot, so that way we can exchange the star pieces for the Power Plus badge that I want. But anyway, yeah, uh, with Chuck Quizmo, my understanding, and someone else did some research, I'll mention them in the video description there, but... My understanding is that you can't get all 64 star pieces from Chuck Quizmo from the very beginning. Uh, my understanding is that there's like a limit to the number of star pieces you can get from him at a time. Because, well, some of the questions he would ask would be from the future of the game and it would spoil it or you wouldn't know the answer to it. So, that's... I'm just going on that based on what I was told there. But really, I, even if I could farm all 64 from him now, I wouldn't want to. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, these badges are nice, but they're not that good. <laughs> so, yeah. For now, I am going to go... Well, yeah, there's the Flower Finder. That, uh, in my experience, the way Flower Finder works is it gives you, like, uh, between one and four potential flowers that you find after defeating an enemy or winning a battle there. So, at least when I was doing some testing earlier, I was getting about 2.3 flowers per battle. Whereas the flower saver badge <clears throat> uh, would only save me two if I was using two attacks per to finish a battle with um, FP there. So, I think the flower finder is not only just outright better than it, it also costs only three BP to equip. So, it's pretty nice. And it doesn't cost as nearly as many uh, star pieces. But So, if you don't want to farm for the Power Plus badge, go for the Flower Finder badge. But, alright! So, I think that's everything we can do here. Uh, Power Plus is certainly far from mandatory. In fact, once you get a certain block coming up later in the game, it's not going to be, well... It's still going to be useful, but perhaps not as useful as it otherwise might be. But, oh well. I still like the Power Plus better. I'm just going to go for uh, the Brute Force method on that one. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I think that's everything we can do before heading on into Chapter 2. So, let's uh, head on to Mount Rugged to get to the dry, dry desert. Is there a wet, wet desert? I don't know. That wouldn't exactly make sense, I suppose. But, I don't know. I haven't played all the Mario games past uh, Mario 64. So, oh well. But I do want to uh, take a train there. If you hadn't blown up the rock that was in the way of the train tracks there, you gotta use Bombette to do that. But I already did that earlier, so I don't need to worry about it. Sounds like a plan. Oh, and there's something coming up here with the title or chapter screen that uh, some people were telling me about. So, yeah, I figure I could show it off. Let's see what it is. Or we could just uh, watch the train go by a bit more. Why not? You could press the A button to skip some of this part. I don't know. I don't think you can do it the first time, though. Well, whatever. I'm not extraordinarily worried about it. Are you uh, going to stop anytime soon? Thank you. Okay, let's sit around here for a moment. I think something happens eventually. All 
Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, well, some people really wanted me to show that off, so sure, why not? Yeah, usually as far as showing things off goes in the game, I usually... I mean, if it's just like one little thing, okay, that's fine. But if it's like show every dual tech or triple tech in the game or whatever, uh, eh, I don't really think that's necessary. That takes a lot more time. And uh, yeah, I don't think that's generally interesting. So, okay, well, we got the uh, Power Plus badge. Oh, you know, hold on. I should uh, go over my uh, new setup here. So, let's see. Active badges. Let's get rid of all that crap. Oh, I need the dizzy attack, I think, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, we don't need FP+. plus. Let's see. I want D-Down Pound, because we're going to have some enemies coming up who have really high defense. Go Power Plus, Refund, Speedy Spin, Dizzy Attack. I think that's going to be a good way to go here. But can we make it through Mount Rugged to get to the Dry Dry Desert? Find out next time on Let's Play Pink! Mario. This is HG Bailey signing off. Have a good day.